let us look at the slave's backward movement. When the slave moves backward, many things happen. The bowl is raised gradually according to the shape of the plate cam. The arm connected to the bowl is raised. The stopper rod turns in the clockwise direction through the links. The lever tooth pushes the pin. The fork bracket rises. The fork is raised. And finally, the pusher at the extreme right end of the stopper rod is raised. The slave's forward movement. When the slave moves forward, the bowl is lowered gradually. The arm connected to the bowl is lowered. Through the links, the stopper rod turns in the clockwise direction. The fork bracket and fork are lowered. The pusher goes below the stopper bracket. Let us now see what happens when the weft yarn is present. During the forward movement of the sleigh, if weft yarn is present, the fork prongs will descend to feel the weft yarn. Due to the tension in the weft yarn, the catch and the lever tooth will not touch each other. The pusher passes below the stopper bracket and the loom continues to run. Let us now see what happens when weft yarn is absent. During the forward movement of the sleigh, if the weft is absent, the fork prongs will descend right up to the bottom end of the groove. So the catch engages the lever tooth. In this situation, as the sleigh moves forward, the pusher pushes the stopper bracket and the loom stops instantaneously.